Hi everyone, it's Ziggy here again from Look 10 Years Younger and I've got another hair product review for you. This time it is the MUK or the Muck Curl Stick. This baby here. Is it any good? Is it worth the investment? Stay tuned and I'll let you know. Okay, so the Muck Curl Stick uh, comes in two different packs. One comes with three uh, irons, um, small, medium, large, and one comes with six irons. Now, the one with six different irons is only $220, she said only. Um, it's a fair whack of money. But the one with three sticks is 180 something dollars. So I really can't see an awful lot of point in spending $180 and only getting three irons with it when you might as well spend an extra $30 and get six irons with it. Six irons with it. Um, and so $220. Fair whack of money. But um, the main reason why I chose the muck stick is that it has um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. Let me just move that over for you. It has three different temperature settings that you can have. Um, 130, 170 and 210. Now, um, I am a um, person with really fine hair. My long hair is very, very fine. So I don't want... Um, a really high temperature curling wand or a straightening iron. I did have a look at um, the Cloud9 and the GHD and you know a, a, the Carmen and a couple of the other high-end ones as well but what I really wanted was something that would give me a little bit more of a mild temperature not the really hard temperature because I can't afford with fine hair for it to break my hair off. Now, a um, couple of the good things with the um, Muck uh, Curl Stick that I've noticed so far is that it has a really long cord, you know, an electrical cord, which is really good because my plugs are not actually right here. My plugs are over there somewhere. And I know you guys know what I mean. Sometimes your, your sockets are not really close to where you want to do your hair. So that's really good. The other pro and a con is that it has the ability for the cord to turn which is really good you know when you're twisting and turning in your hair but I do find that um, it comes with a heat mat as you can see here and if I put that down on the table um, I have found that whilst it's got a stand which means that it's supposed to theoretically sit um, how am I going to show you flat like that because this wants to go downwards it just pushes the wand into the heat mat anyway so the stand is the stand that comes on it is pretty useless in terms of changing your um, the wand at the end it's just a case of pushing these two buttons and sliding the iron out and then sliding the new iron in it's dead easy this is the medium um, one of the middle um, barrels that it comes with uh, the other irons, uh, there's a smaller one, there's a conical smaller one, there is a kind of oval shape, quite large one as well. So you can get a variety of different waves and curls with it, depending on which barrel um, that you put in it. Um, it also comes with a heat glove as well. So I'm just going to demonstrate for you on the low setting. Um, obviously you're going to use it on dry hair not on damp hair I'm just going to put the glove on you put the glove on the hand that's going to be holding the hair not on the hand that's going to be holding the wand just move some of this out of the way and literally now you want to curl away from your face if you can um, I'll show you the difference in a minute uh, just hold it on for five seconds or so and then let it slip out now if you want to really keep that curl I suggest getting uh, little clips 
and clipping those to the side of your head just while it's cooling down because remember your, your hair is still warm and a curl will go with the warmth of your hair and as the warmth in your hair dies away then so will the curl so if you can keep the warmth in if you can keep the curl in it while your hair is still warm um, it will help set the curl so we would we would kind of leave that clipped there for you know another three or four minutes or so until the hair was cool and then you would know that that curl is really really set now that is that's so cute don't you think that's really really cute um, and that's curled away from my hair if I were to curl towards my face and I'm so used to doing it away from my face that I'm going to find this a little bit awkward, I think. But if I find a bit of hair, it just looks much more natural if you can curl it toward, uh, away from your face than towards your face. So I've got to think about, so that's going towards my face. See what I mean? I've got so used to doing it away from my face that um, <laughs> it's a bit of a habit. But you can see that the curling wand is now um, curled towards my face. That's not doesn't give you as natural a curl, and as natural a looking curl, I should say. So we would just let that sit just for a couple of minutes as well until the hair cools, so that it really sets that um, that lovely curl in. But I'll let it go at the moment. Um, it's a bit thinner than that side but you can see it it doesn't look as natural when you do it towards your face as when you do it away so I'll just take those long bits away and you can still see how cute is that curl it's so cute I love it. so would I recommend the muck curl stick you bet um, clearly I need to still learn a lot more about how to use it better but I really love it fantastic investment really quick easy way to get calls and to smooth down my uh, very fine sometimes frizzy hair so that's been another review from me I hope all is well with you of course I look forward to seeing you in my next video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe as well so you can keep up to date with all videos I'll see you in my next video so until then take care bye from me